If you're in nursing school, you know how important it is to pass your dose calculation exams. In many cases, if you don't get a very high passing score, you do not get to move on in your program. We have created a dose calculation workbook to help you master and feel comfortable solving a huge variety of dose calculation problems. This book was designed to help you learn your way. For most problems in this book, we show them being solved three different ways through dimensional analysis, ratio and proportion, as well as the formula method. Another amazing thing about this book is with the purchase of a book, you get access to our online resource, which has dozens of videos of me working through problems like I'm about to do now. In this problem, we have an order for a liquid medication and the order is for 240 milligrams. What we have available is a concentration of 160 milligrams in five mLs of solution. And we need to find out how many milliliters should we give. Let's first solve this problem using dimensional analysis. So if I take my ordered dose, which is 240 milligrams, and I multiply it by the available concentration, making sure to put my milliliters on top and my milligrams on bottom, such that my milligrams cross off, if I multiply this out, I end up with 7.5 milliliters. Let's solve the same problem with ratio and proportion. So on one side of the equation, I'm going to put my known ratio, which is the drug concentration. On the other side of the equation, I'm gonna put my ordered dose, and I'm going to put an X for the unknown value, which is how many milliliters we want to administer. Then I would cross multiply here. So 160 times X equals five times 240. And then if we solve for X, we will end up with 7.5. So that's how many milliliters we need to administer. All right, finally, let's solve this with the formula method. The formula method has desired over have times the vehicle. So we are desiring 240 milligrams, and what we have are 160 milligrams in five mLs of solution. And our milligrams will cross off. If we do this math, we end up with 7.5 milliliters. 